Hi there everyone, welcome to our channel, Rebecca Stu and the crew. I'm Rebecca and today we have some Dollar Tree craft ideas for you guys. Let's go over our supplies for the first craft today. Only two of these wood ornaments and one bunny sign, a small wood tray, and the paint pens from Dollar Tree. We'll also need some white paint and pink. We'll need some ribbon and paint brushes. We're also going to need some hot glue, some scissors, and let's get crafty. So the first thing we're going to do is paint these ornaments white. We're going to actually paint both sides exactly the same. Now one side does not have the little circles for the feet, but you can go ahead and just paint those on. So you'll be able to see these from both sides of our design today. Then our little tray here, I picked up a Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint this whole thing white. I did the edges first and then all of the creases. So I really wanted to make sure that I covered them really well. And sometimes um, you want to make sure, you know, if you have to do two coats that you really get into those creases really well. So I'm making sure to cover those. Once I get all the creases and edges done, then I just paint the whole entire um, box white. Um, you could do this any color. It's really up to you. You don't have to paint the bottom of the box. I did. I wasn't thinking you're not going to see it. So if you don't want to paint the bottom, you don't have to. But I did paint the edges on the outside of the box because you will be able to see those when the design is finished. So now while that little crate's drying, we're going to paint the black circles on our bunny feet. And again, you're going to want to paint these circles on the other side. Um, if you want, you don't have to, you can leave it plain white, it's really up to you because that could be the top of the foot. And then for the crate, I'm going to go in with the black paint and do that top beveled edge just to help it stand out. It really got lost with the white paint and I like the design of it, so I painted that black as well. Then take the sign apart. We're going to take the bow off and the paper. To remove the paper, I just scraped some of it off and then once I got a little bit, almost all of it off, I lightly mist it with some water and rub with a paper towel and it comes off quite easily down to like the bare uh, sign there before the paper was put on. Then you can go ahead and paint a nice clean surface. It makes it nice and smooth and really makes your design look nice when it's done. I did the same for the carrots and painted them all white. And then I took some of that black chalk paint and I go over the top portion of the carrots where the greenery would be. We're just going to paint that whole thing black. We're going to paint both sides. So we'll also paint the edges to make sure that that's covered at the top. We paint both carrots exactly the same. Once we have the black portion done at the top, what I do is I just use a tiny little bit of paint on that same brush, mostly a dry brush, and we're just doing these little arc um, kind of motions to create the lines on the carrot and a little bit of a shadow of an outline around the outside edge of the carrot also. And we'll add some pink paint to this later on just to add some extra detail. So now we'll take those paint markers and we're adding this little stitching mark all the way around the outside edge of the foot. We'll do both feet the same and then we'll go in with the white paint marker and do around the circles and we'll add some pink paint at the end just to add a little bit of highlight. Now for the head and the ears we're going to add that same stitching all the way around. kind of wanted this to have like a cartoon feel to it so I thought that this stitch work kind of helped with that. Once the stitching has dried around the outside edge and you're not afraid it's going to smear, go ahead and draw your face. We're going to do two ovals for the eyes, a semicircle for the nose, three whiskers, and then the mouth. And then we'll just fill in part of the eyes and eyelids, give them some eyelashes, and add some more of the stitch work around the details of the face to tie it all together. Now to add a little bit more detail, we'll add just a tiny bit of pink paint to the nose, the cheeks, and the ears. And I just used my finger for that. Then we're going to take that basket and our paint marker and add some stitch work around the edges of the basket. Again, to help some of those details really stand out with the beauty of that beveled edge around the basket there, or that scalloped edge. And then it helps to tie in with the whole project together when the stitching looks kind of the same or all the pieces look similar. It really helps to tie it all together. So you can see we've already added the pink to the carrots and the feet for a highlight and then the bunny. Now we'll glue the pieces together just by gluing the feet on the front of the basket kind of at an angle. 
and then we'll glue the head on the back, but on the inside of the basket, a little bit higher up so you can see it. And then we're going to take some ribbon, any ribbon you have will do, and just create an X pattern and layering all the pieces of ribbon to create a really pretty bow. Tie it off in the center. If you have some of these little paper flowers from Dollar Tree, you can add those to the center as well. And then we'll add this to the middle of the ears. And I love the stitch work on the black and white ribbon that I found at Dollar Tree. It really kind of ties the whole thing together. And then you can add your carrots to the basket. And this is a fun little decor piece. You can um, use it to store like coasters on the table. You can put sweet treats and candies in it um, just to sit out around Easter around the house. And now for our second DIY today, we're going to use three of these mini crates, the mini stemless wine glasses from Dollar Tree. We'll need some flowers, one of these vinyl bags, or you can use the Dollar Tree vinyl rolls. We'll need some stain, some white paint, and we'll need a paintbrush, some scissors, and some hot glue. And then the lightweight spackling. We'll need some clips as well. And let's get crafty. So for our second craft today, we're going to take these three mini crates from Dollar Tree and we're going to glue them together to make this long tray. I use the clips to help hold it together while it dries just to make sure it has a nice tight seal. And you can make this as long as you want. I'm just going to do three of them because that was as long as I needed this to be. So we'll just clean up that second basket together while it dries. And then I'm going to take some of that lightweight spackling and fill in the spaces between each crate. This only takes about 10 minutes to dry and then you can paint and stain over it. At first, it doesn't want to completely take the stain, but it will um, with the second coat, especially once it's dry. And then you want to go ahead and wipe off any excess. And I just kept going over it. And then once I had the stain on there, I took a dry brush with a little bit of white paint and lightly go over the finish of the stain and it creates this light gray weathered look to the baskets, which I just love the way that this turned out here. So you wanna add just a little bit at a time. You can always go back and add more white paint. So take your time, only add a little bit, and then you can always add more if you need to. So I do all the surfaces to the baskets here and then I take those mini stemless wine glasses and I glue two of them inside of each of the mini crates. Now we're going to cut the long handle off of this bag and we'll pull both handles out of the side and you want those grommets, those little metal pieces, you want those. So now what we're going to do is just take the really long handle and we're going to glue this around the bottom edge of all three of our baskets here. And this is long enough to make it all the way around all three of the mini crates with a little bit of excess. We have to cut about two inches off once we get all the way around here and glue the whole thing. You can overlap it if you want. I decided to cut off the little bit of excess. Now we'll take one strap with the grommet and we're going to actually cut that in half because it was quite long, we didn't need it that long. So we're just making sure they're the same length. And then I pulled the grommets out of the other strap because there was one on each side. And we're going to actually use those to create that little metal piece on the opposite side here. So we're just lining it up to find out where we need the hole. And we're going to poke a hole through that fake leather with our scissors. And then the grommet, you're just going to fish it through so that one piece is on one side and the other piece is on the other with the leather in the middle. And those are going to be our little handles on either side of the basket. So then we'll just add some hot glue and we're gluing this right to the top of the fake leather on both sides. And this will help line it up so both of the straps are the same length um, and height when they stick up at the top there. So just use that leather at the bottom as your guide of where to glue. And I love how that grommet adds that little metal piece there. It kind of really looks cute together. It looks like there's a real nail in the end. So you've got your handles that are the same length and they're equally spaced because you lined it up with that leather on the bottom. And now just take some flowers and you can glue them or just set them inside of your stemless wine glasses. 
and have this beautiful spring display. And I just love how this turned out so much. We put this in my daughter's room. We just redid their um, bedroom with a lot of the decor I've been making recently on this channel. And it turned out so cute. I'm so excited um, with how everything turned out. And this was a great addition. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make these with me today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And here are some other videos from our channel you may also enjoy. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.